What's up everybody, it's Herbert again with another video for you. Today we're going to talk about a little bit of an update for the channel. Um, I've been working on some stuff lately and uh, one of the things that are in the workings is my light board. Uh, you might have seen my post, um, I think it was last week or two weeks ago, where I posted the update of my light board and it was, you know, it was getting along uh, quite nicely. But uh, there were some issues with the uh, lit strips that I ordered. Um, you know, the, I didn't have enough uh, wiring and things like that. So I ordered new ones and they should be coming in this week or next week. So normally I'll have that, um, I'll have that ready uh, within the few next weeks. I can start explaining a few topics on the light board. Uh, I don't know why I ordered a light board really. I could have just done it with a tablet, but I think it was just, I saw it on the IBM uh, YouTube uh, channel and uh, I thought it was amazing. Motorcycle. Um, yeah, so that's coming up now. Uh, also, I am applying for a new job now and uh, that's also something that I'm going to talk about a little bit. I'm going to do a separate video on, uh, on that. Uh, I don't want to make this channel into like a career channel. This is still mainly a channel focused on just technology in general. Uh, but I think that for some people watching my videos, it might be interesting because some of you might be in IT. And uh, I think that, you know, uh, your career is a big part of your life. And I think that it's interesting to talk about that a little bit. Also, people who are not into technology and want to get into technology, maybe uh, they might have some uh, interest in that video as well. So what's coming up for the channel? Well, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers right now. So I think that's amazing. I thank you all for subscribing to my channel. Uh, I didn't think that you know this channel would be anything. You know, I, I know it's cliche to say that, but uh, really, thank you so much. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and uh, more videos are coming up very very soon um, there's gonna be a lot of topics that I'm gonna dive into and they're all uh, sort of focused on my new job as well uh, I'm gonna go into more of DevOps technologies as well and pretty much if you do not know what DevOps is DevOps is pretty much like this um, car passing yeah I live right next to the station so there's gonna be some cars passing here and there uh, yeah, so I'm going. I'm going to go into more of DevOps focus and learning to work with those technologies. This pretty much sums it. Uh, what, what pretty much sums up uh, DevOps is automation, and also in a lot of cases, it's uh, managing code bases and things like that. And you're working a lot with Linux, and uh, that's of course my forte. I love Linux. I love working with Linux. Most of my videos are about Linux. That's because that's mostly, uh, m mostly my passion really is in open source and. Uh, mainly Linux operating systems uh, but yeah so that's coming up very shortly uh, of course I'm gonna do a lot of tutorials on uh, technologies that are coming up a lot when you're working with DevOps uh, when you're working in a DevOps role uh, such as containers uh, we're gonna do some automation as well we're gonna do a lot of Linux automation we're gonna work with tools like Terraform, Docker uh, all that fun stuff so that's going to come up very shortly. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what I wanted to say in this video. So there's a lot more stuff coming up. I'm also going to order myself a new, well, I'm actually not really going to order it. I'm first of all going to just uh, see what I can put together what I, with the things that I have at home right now. Uh, so I'm going to be putting up a Linux server uh, at home, uh, which is going to be configured in a RAID configuration because my NAS is kind of failing. I have a NAS, a, Sy a Synology NAS, but the second bay, uh, it's a four bay NAS and the second bay is kind of failing and uh, I want to, you know, uh, move all that data over to something more stable because, you know, I want my data to be uh, secure and I also want to do some other stuff on there. Uh, I tried to do some containerization with the Docker application that comes with, um, with in, in the Synology software manager or in the Synology software port or whatever you want to call it. Um, but uh, yeah, there are some uh, limitations. For example, it's, it's, it's a, quite a hassle to free up the uh, HTTP and the HTTPS ports on there. Synology really, really... Uh, they really shut that down. You can't really 
uh, free up the HTTP ports. I've tried the guides online, but I think Synology is, uh, has, um, has really nailed that down even more tightly, and uh, I think that's no longer a possibility. Uh, for example, I was trying to set up a, um, a LAN cache, which is pretty much a cache for uh, LAN parties. So what that actually does is it captures all of your uh, all of your traffic that goes out to Steam servers, to EA servers, Battle.net servers, and it caches that onto your server. So pretty much what that does is um, it uh, stores all your game data on your NAS or on your server. And whenever you want to download those games again, you're downloading them locally rather than downloading them off the internet, which is a lot faster, and it also saves a lot of bandwidth. So that's what I'm, uh, what I was trying, and I tried it on the Synology NAS, but uh, yeah, I, that didn't really go so well. There was a lot of uh, configuration, and I tried pretty much everything. And uh, also, I don't want to really like break the NAS to, uh, to do that. And you know, when I thought about the fact that the NAS is pretty much dying. Uh, I thought to myself, well, why not just put everything into a new server and start all over again? So I, I still have some leftover parts here and there, so I'm going to tr try to put together a uh, little computer that uh, can function as a NAS. And then later on, uh, when the channel uh, grows a little bit, when I have some incomes from the channel saved up from the ad revenue, uh, I can buy myself a completely new server and I'll probably buy something like an HP micro server and I'll be setting that up and I'll be probably doing a video on that as well so you can stay tuned for that as well uh, other than that uh, I think that's pretty much the update for now so I don't really have like a long-term uh, vision on the channel right now except for the fact that we're gonna dive more into DevOpsy stuff and uh, that's pretty much what I am uh, aiming for right now teach you guys a little bit about these technologies like Docker, Terraform, maybe some Jenkins on the side, uh, maybe a little bit of coding, scripting, uh, maybe dive a little bit deeper into uh, cloud services and things like that. And I think it's going to be very interesting for anybody who's interested in that. Uh, other than that, uh, I think uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, yeah, so I didn't really have any uh, inspiration today. So I thought I'd just do a channel update and uh, because we're just hitting almost 2,000 subscribers, I thought it might be a good idea to do that. So just stay tuned for those things, guys. There's a lot more things coming up. I've got a, I've got a, a lot of inspiration right now to do all these things. I've gotten a new uh, wave of inspiration that I really want to bring to you guys in uh, as much of a good format as I can. And uh, looking at my subscriber numbers, they keep going up. So I, I'm guessing that you guys like what I do. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to say for the rest. So I'm just going to say thank you for watching and uh, see you soon, guys. Bye.